Hi everybody! Welcome to the Charlotte Club! Hey! We're going back to Grim Dawn today. If you're new to our channel right now, it's one of the games that we're covering a lot. Uh, this is my uh, friend... Uh, I, he doesn't have a name yet, but it will come. He, he, he went to um, a carnival in, uh, in Mexico. And since then, he's uh, wearing the mask all the time, so... Uh, yeah, so if you're new to the channel, uh, please, uh, you, I invite you to subscribe right now. Just just go under the video, press subscribe, and you can even ring the bell. And then you'll be notified for our next videos. So what do I want to do? One of my popular videos on my uh, channel is uh, the classes in, um, in Grim Dawn. And, uh, but that video is kind of two years old. So a lot happened since. Uh, we're gonna call this guy uh, or this this girl uh, Classy. Here we go. Let's create her. Let's create Classy. Let's go in. So the objective of this video, I know why you're watching. You want to know what are the classes. Uh, I'll give you a little history. Uh, when the game came out, uh, there were six uh, different classes, and you can always choose. Uh, two different classes uh, that you can choose and uh, at level 2 you choose the first one at level 10 you choose the second one and um, you're not looking too bad for no okay okay better. where you can I find it okay good uh, and the other one at level 10 uh, so you can combine different uh, classes which gives you a kind of a third classes cl class and uh, and so that's it uh, but I want to show you now, because after the DLC, uh, the second DLC, which his name is eluding me right now, uh, there was two extra classes that were uh, added. So that put the number up to eight, eight classes. And uh, after that, the, the, the two last expansion, Crucible put a new mode in place, which is the Crucible mode and added some some uh, new creatures some uh, new um, new weapons and things like that uh, nothing uh, more it's basically just that but the forgotten god gave us a new class so now we are at nine classes and i want to go through what all those nine classes are today uh, not necessarily in a lot of details, but just to give you an incentive a little bit of if you're new to the game and you want to try it out, here's what, if you have full DLC, if you have the four DLC, and it's not expensive, I think the game is something like 30 bucks, and you can have a bundle on Steam for all DLC for another 20 or 30 bucks, something like that. So it's not, not that, that big of a deal to get everything that game has to offer because you can play that game for 500 hours and you won't see the end of it. Um, so the, f the first six uh, basic class were Soldier, Demolitionist, Occultist, Nightblade and Arcanist uh, and then and Shaman. Th those were the six original. There have been some little tweaking uh, in some DLC. Uh, they have changed a little bit. Uh, there are some little differences. They, they upgraded them. And then, like I said, in the, um, the other one, uh, the uh, DLC um, Call of uh, Mammoth or something like that, I, I, the, the name is just escaping me right now. Um, you, they added the Inquisitor and the Necromancer. I really like the Inquisitor, by the way. And with Forgotten Gods uh, that uh, was out, I think, six months ago, something like that, um, they added the Oath Keeper. So uh, what are those guys uh, doing? Uh, well, the soldier, uh, basically, uh, it's either um, you can boost your abilities uh, with a being with a, a shield or a two-handed melee weapon. And there's a lot of, of, of stuff here to help you regenerate health, to be uh, more tanky. Here you have a, a skill that you can take that gives you, you more f uh, physique, more elf, uh, you're gonna get more bonuses on your shield. Uh, so basically, the soldier is a tank. I know that's not a big surprise. It's kind of self-explanatory. You can do a lot of damage with him, but he has big defense, he has big elf regeneration. Um, the demolitionist uh, is the fire guy. I mean, um, I always played him uh, with a gun, 
uh, either one-ended or two-ended guns. Um, and there's a lot of damage. You, you throw, uh, the, the, they're calling black, ma black water cocktail, but they're, they're a Molotov cocktail. And in, in the fact, they, they, you throw them and there's fire on the ground. Uh, then you have those bombs, you have pipe bombs, you have uh, uh, termite mines, you have uh, a, a, a mortar trap that you can set and explode. So everything about it, about this guy is to use fire to destroy as much things as he can get so i think that gives you a great idea of it occultist is kind of a mix um, between a magician he will use a lot of poison uh, and he, he can summon a little bit he will have a crow with him uh, he has a familiar which will do damage uh, you can have also a hellhound and i think Think that it can you have another creature possession? Uh, only one is because it's, it's been a while since I've played the occultist, but basically it's there, it's 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 uh, a lot of acid and poison damage. Uh, you're gonna throw things at, at people, you will use a lot of your uh, essence over here, energy, I, I should say, energy over here, and you can summon a little bit so between a summoner and a mage something like that uh then we have nightblade nightblade is kind of a rogue uh you have one ability that is exclusive to him which is so incredible which is dual wielding uh and a lot of people will take nightblade in combination to another um to another uh, class just to get that ability uh because uh, being able to dual wield uh, you can do a lot of things with it. So he's a rogue. He's throwing knife. Um, he can um, he can have special armor that will absorb spells. Uh, you can uh, you, you do a lot of vitality damage. You will do bleeding damage. The theme is quite simple, and uh, a lot of people really like this uh, this character, the Nightblade. He's really fun to play. You're in the action all the time and you're up close and personal and you're bleeding them out and you can regenerate elf it's it's kind of it's it's yeah uh, so the assassin is really the essence here of uh, of that guy um the arcanist well i think the uh, the image is uh, quite uh, quite revealing uh and this is uh well it's a, uh, the the magic missile uh, the basic thing you will augment of course your spirit this is an heavy um heavy energy uh character he's really the magician uh it will do a freeze he will do uh, electric uh you you know meteorite devastation uh he, he's gonna bring hell on people um not a lot of health of course so really the best way to to describe him is just he is a magician uh the shaman is a little bit different uh the shaman will 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 control animals you, you will have uh spells that are more uh grounded uh grasping vine of course you will you will put people uh down they will be uh how, how is, is it stunned slowed slowed target um you will have uh someone one or two uh not a hundred percent sure but i think there's a second one somewhere uh and uh and one of the abilities that some people will also take him as a a second uh second class is to be able to get that thing over here this is a two-ended or two-ended range weapon bonus so if you want to go Heavy, let's, let's say, for example, you take the soldier, which already have a bonus for two-ended damage. Uh, you can combine it. If you, if you want your soldier to be less defensive and more offensive, a lot of people will combine it with the shaman. So he can have this two-ended weapon and do a lot of damage with him and do a little bit more control with things like Grasping Vine. So the shaman is a well-balanced character. Uh, personally, I never went for a full shaman build. I most li most of the time I, I always more combine in. I, I choose him at level ten for some specific things that I want to get to complement, for example, my soldier. Uh, but I I do understand that in the, it could be the principal, the, 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 your main class, and still be really effective.
Uh, the Inquisitor is, is quite nice and it's nice because I'm a kid at heart and the big thing about the Inquisitor, of course he has a lot of, of things that are r really uh, great like the Rune of uh, Kalastor who can um, help you out, uh, ditch damage and everything. But this, his main thing for me is the range expertise which give you a range weapon bonus and also enables you to dual wield range uh, weapon, which is guns. So uh, my favorite build so far is uh, combining the Demolitionist and the Inquisitor, which will make a purifier. If you follow my uh, my uh, my channel a little bit, you will see that I <laughs> that's the one I chose to 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 call Sherlu, which is the name of the the channel, and he's my he will be my main character in in this instance of showing you about Grim Dawn. And having a dual wheel pistol and going, yeah, shooting everywhere. And you feel like a cowboy, you feel powerful. Um, so I'm not saying that the Inquisitor is the only thing you can do with him, but eh, that's, that, that's one of the big incentives to choose him. Um, then the Necromancer, well, he's a Necromancer. I mean, you can summon skeletons, uh, you can drain life. Uh, you can have uh, uh, poison, a lot of poison damage. Uh, you can summon things, spectral wrath. Um, you have uh, the siphon soul here, which is uh, quite impressive. Uh, it doesn't look like it, uh, but it it it, it does uh, change the game when you can get get that get to there. I'll let you discover it. Uh, but the idea over here is just to to do a basic thing. So he's really what you expect from a Necromancer. Uh, you can upgrade a little bit his, uh, his damage here. Uh, he, will do, uh, he will do a lot of uh, leeching, either energy or, um, or life. So yeah, he's what you expect from, uh, from a Necromancer. That's, uh, that's the big thing. And finally, the Oathkeeper. Well, the Oathkeeper is, uh, is really interesting and he gives to me an all new level to combining him with the soldier, which I did, which is called a Warlord. And the Oathkeeper has a lot of uh, synergy with shield, uh, which was maybe lacking a little bit in the game because I think there's only was the, the soldier who, who had the opportunity to go there, but a lot of people to do more damage were going more with the two-handed weapon uh, possibility. So having, having this here, so this is a, a basically a shield bonus. So if you have everybody with a shield, if in, in your first class you chose to go uh, with a shield for any reason, uh, Oathkeeper could be a great addition. So this is a bonus to shield. This is uh, throwing your shield. Uh, it's, it's really satisfying. It's, uh, you have the, especially when you, you get here and you, you get uh, up to plus one target, uh, you have that kind of uh, Captain America effect. You see my Marvel uh, poster behind me. You have the Marvel effect. You know, the, the Captain America, he throws his shield and boom, boom, it kills two people and comes back. And I must say that for what I experienced, that does a lot of damage in the early game. Uh, I did not compare all the, the, the spells and all the damage they can do at level, um, at level one here. But I must say that just for the feel of it, it felt really powerful. And there's a stun also uh, additive. So if you don't kill the target, which happened a lot in, in the early game, uh, you're gonna also um, stun him for 1.2 seconds and it will go up. So that's quite, uh, that's quite powerful. So if you wanna try something that's more shield heavy, and um, a lot of defense and uh, uh, you have a charge over here that is really really nice so uh, you can charge in and if you have um, a shield you're gonna add your shield damage to this so like i said combined with the warrior where you can get even more damage on your shield if you take this not a warrior but a soldier this is really great um, so here you go. You have uh, now you have nine different um, classes. The beauty of it, if if you combine, you can no never choose twice the same one. So if you combine every one of them, uh, you have thirty six different possibility of end classes. Like I said, if you combine, for example, soldier and oathkeeper, it becomes a warlord. So that third uh, name here 
there's 36 of them. So you can have at least 36 different characters and none of them will play the same way. They will have all have different uh, combinations of those things. And I would have, I will, I, I would add to that another nine uh, classes. And I explain why, because uh, that goes to up to 45 now. What I mean by adding nine classes is that you can choose not to choose anything else. I mean, you can, I, I think there's a bonus to do it, but let's say you want to be uh, uh, f f full, full mage. Full mage, you just want to be a magician. You, you don't care about anything else. You don't want pets. You don't want special things on your weapon. You say, okay, I'm going all in for Arcanist, and you just push that to the limit, and you can do it. I mean, that's a possibility. Uh, or, or you choose a second class, and you choose just one thing on it. I, I saw it a lot. I watch other people play the game and I see people uh, taking, for example, I don't know, uh, the, uh, the, the, especially the Nightblade, the Inquisitor and the Shaman to go get uh, just the advantage, for example, the Inquisitor the, to be able to dual wield weapon. And then they don't put any more points anywhere in there. They're just taking one point here to get that skill and that's it. Same thing for uh, the uh, uh, the night blade, just to get the two to the wheel to do a two-ended weapon. So I'm saying that there's 36 possibilities to have the, that that third name. You have, I think, nine more options here to go full something, or maybe full something with just one little tweak for another one. So with with the possibility of 45 different classes. I don't remember seeing any games that gives you that much. Uh, it's quite impressive. It comes, I mean, for me, it compels me to come back and back and back again to, to Grim Dawn because I want to try a new combination and see how it goes and, and try this thing and that thing. And the possibilities are endless. And within those 45, uh, or let's go back to 36, let's go back, let's be more conventional within those 36 possibilities uh, you can have other possibilities because there are also devotions and devotions are those um, zodiac signs or uh, constellation that could really sometimes change the way you play they can really add something crazy uh, like uh, I don't know uh, some uh, like here you can have a vampiric fan assault uh, your foe and sap them vitality. So if you're uh, uh, in in a class that doesn't have any uh, anything to 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 steal um, to, to steal elf, you can just get that constellation here, and that would be that would be done. So it's incredibly versatile. So to answer the question one more one last time. What are the classes in Grim Dawn? Here's a, here you go. Soldier, Demolitionist, Occultist, Nightblade, Arcanist. I should say, Soldier is, is your tank. Demolitionist is you throw fire at everything. Uh, <laughs> Occultist, you have a little bit of pets, a little bit of magic. Nightblade, you're an assassin. Arcanist, you're a mage. Shaman, a little bit like Occultist, you will have some pets and you will have some uh, magic but more grounding magic you know stun people uh, uh, have vines that will slow them out and things like that inquisitor you're just shooting at everything around you with with imbuing your weapons with magic necromancer well it's a necromancer i mean hey there he is and the oath keeper is really a warrior that goes in he charges in, he has his his uh, his uh is buckler and he's is eating pe eating people people with it and he's throwing it and it come back magically to him and uh, he's he's in the battle all the time.
So that's it. That's uh, that's our other classes. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, I invite you to subscribe right now. Just go under uh, this uh, this video. Just click subscribe, and you can also ring the bell so you'll be notified for other content from Grim Dawn and for First Expression because I, I do a lot of First Impression also on different games, uh, even mobile games. Um, but that was it for today. I wanted to upgrade that video, so make sure that you know what you're getting into. But classes-wise, I think this is one of the best ARPG uh, ever done. So thank you very much, everybody, for uh, being here. I hope you like this. And, uh, well, have a nice day. Bye-bye.